Hello everyone, I'm Kubar Guru and welcome back in Silver Bullet The Prometheus for the continuation and conclusion of the video presenting this game. So just after finishing to protect the survivors, we got a boss. A girl that killed them all, claiming that it was better to kill them all in order to avoid them becoming zombies later. So I start the next mission with a fight with this girl which is a boss. So, some chit chat. You see the style of the girl, wearing uniform of, I don't know, maybe college or something like that, and a katana, typical Asian style like type animation. a technique which is I shoot and move non-stop to be as far as possible and to avoid the enemy's attack. So as you can see pressing non-stop the trigger make Kali targeting all enemies. <laughs> As you can see, it don't work all the time. I am losing HP, so I need to move away. Ah, finally, fight is over. Whoa, surprised, we don't kill her. She showed mercy. So I've advanced in the game and I decided to record this fight also as this boss is very important in the game. The second part of the video will be essentially to show you boss fights. This boss is at the stage 9 and actually you will need to replay it several times to level up your character in order to earn bonuses from beating it because they are very important as it increases the amount of ammunition you can carry and for later boss bosses you will need a lot of them every boss every boss have more and more health so it requires more and more ammunition to take them down this one is not complicated to kill it has kind of sort of pattern and to beat it the best way is to run around and place yourself behind and shoot it moving a little bit you can avoid his shoot and it's not complicated. This fight was my first versus him so I got it a lot and with time I found the best way to fight it that I just said. So now the first fight versus Decane. It's not complicated at all, so. except if you do the same mistake as I did while recording the video. You see that I moved away from central area and it was a big mistake, as there are lots of turrets around that hits you strong and makes lots of damage. So it's better to stay in the center area and move, roll around to avoid Decane grenades or mines and it won't be too much tough. By using the same technique as usual to shoot instead of holding the trigger you non-stop press it. Kelly will shoot with one gun the closest target and she will be able to shoot down, take down the mine, the grenade etc. And we're done. Dust to dust. So here is now the famous cube. I won't skip the cinematic. Fragment of your gun. This boss is not really difficult neither. But it took me lots of time and several attempts to understand what to do. 
you need to shoot at it non-stop and break the cube in smaller pieces as the more the pieces are small then you start doing damage you can see I'm making no damage on the beak at the moment also keep moving to avoid being hit as usual as you see I haven't broken it enough and he regained its full size and I haven't done any damage yet So now I am in another match and I was doing the right thing and you see that I already taken down a good amount of HP from it and instead once again to hold down trigger I press non-stop the trigger and it shoot all the cubes cutting them in smaller pieces and making damage to them. You can see that I had 412 munitions simply because I replayed several times the stage 9 boss fight to increase my amount in order to being able to beat this one. Look, 55,000 HP takes a lot of bullets. Now close to the end. Whoa, 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 I don't have much ammo left. Yes! I did it! Haha! <laughs> ah, nearly all ammo ammunition spent in the fight. Whew. It was not an easy fight, but you got it. To beat this one, level up your stats and have lots of ammunition by replaying stage 9, etc. etc. In the end, I kind of like and enjoy the game. It's intensive fights. Okay, it's a little bit often always the same. But to spend time romp, why not? It's a little bit like old arcade games with the upper view. Graphics are okay, I found. So, I'm back at the menu to show you that I've kept leveling my character to level 17 now and increasing her stats. Ok, I put a point in speed, but I don't find much difference 0.5%. Maybe to move away sometimes. I got some Miracle Cross, it's like in old arcade games extended life that you can use to respawn in the middle of the fight. Ok, so now, I've just fight another mega boss. I was obliged to spend some cross to revive because I also notice that you can't use roll successively and there is a small cooldown between each use and in the fight I had some issue because of that. I wanted to show you this part, very short, but a little bit different. As you can see we are not above view here, but side scrolling. Careful, there is a sniper. <laughs> oh, long time I haven't shot an helicopter. Whoa, if it destroys the platform, where I will stand? Okay, its targeting is really, really bad. I won't spoil her origins, her agency, her story. I will let you discover everything if you play the game. The only thing you know is that she is a demon hunter and that she also shoots everything else, not only demon. So you saw, this stage was very short. But there are also plenty of other things. I had also a stage to escort and protect a civilian, a civilian survivor. That was kind of interesting also. An area where it was needed to close spiritual gaze from further falls or somewhere like that.
Okay, her movements are really heavy. She's not soft at all. But it's fun. Big guns, shooting everything. Okay, it's not that there is strategy. But sometimes, you better be careful in what you do. Think a little bit before doing it. I'm pretty sure that you can't always run and gun. Some missions need something different. Okay, now we are back in the lab. Wow! I just finished stage 31. It's a second fight with Decane, but it's the mega boss of hell. Ouch, that was impressive. The more I play, the more I have the feeling that devs have made an action RPG game, but with a good amount of shoot them up style. Especially this last boss fight. So I will replay it to show you. With the hope I will be able to win, as it's maybe the fifth time I'm doing it, it's really, really tough. But I found a very good technique. Okay, let's go. Now it's getting a lot more complicated and tough. You see, he drops sorts sort of mine. He shoots at you with his blue uh, plasma laser blast. Plus those being bombs. Then he go up, and you can't target it, but you need to keep moving to avoid his shoots. And we keep going. So like I've already said in previous boss, the things to do is move, move, move non-stop, keep pressing the shoot trigger. The first time I tried this fight, I tried to use raw a lot, but it's too slow, and in the end it don't work. It was more problematic I found, because you need to keep shooting, and when you roll, you stop shooting for a second. The only way is to never stop shooting, in order to destroy all the mines he drops, he launch at you. And actually, I don't look at the boss. I'm only focused on Kali, to be able to see the incoming damage much better and avoid everything. As targeting is automatic, you don't need to see the boss or the mines, you just focus on Kali. The only thing is avoid incoming shoot. You see she targets automatically all close dangers, either shooting the boss or the mines and I just move, move, move a lot avoiding incoming shoot or big balls. It's a long fight, as he has 32,000 HP. Now you can see like in a shoot them up, it's a little bit more tough as he launches more balls, but focusing on Kelly and the incoming dangers I can avoid them easily. The good point is that the balls go slower at one point so it's easier to avoid them. It's tough, very tough, you need really to be focused and concentrate in this fight. Like I say it's maybe the fifth time I'm doing it. The first one I died like 15 times and I used all my Miracle Revives cross. I was trying to roll and it was not the good tactics at all. And we are done. But really, impressive fight. This is a boss fight like all time shooters.
Now, the cinematic is cool, like in some old movies of the 80s. The helicopter flying away in the sunset while Kali is telling her story. Dust to dust. The goddess of death. So, it was Silver Bullet, the Prometheus. I hope you had a good review and overview of the game. I got it at 9.99 euro. I think it's worth buying it and trying it. You like it, you can try to advance or finish it. If you don't like it, you can ask for a refund. It's a game made, like you can see, by Buell Bram, Cheng Kang College of Cultural Industry. It's a Korean indie game, and I kind of find it interesting. For me, if the main character was a man, it would have been the same, I don't care at all. But everyone can have its personal taste. We know that Asian likes and makes a lot of games with female heroine. Why not? Thank you for watching this video. Have fun. Play a lot. And see you next time. Bye bye.